so I had this dream last night. It was like we had this life that we have right now, but something happened to you and in the dream it wasn't clear. You were just gone. You had been there and then you were gone. So I don't know if you died, hmm, sorry, <laughs> or if you just left, but I had this boyfriend. I went to find this like old boyfriend of mine and I don't even really know who he was. It didn't really show who he was in the dream, but he came along and he was like, <laughs> all I ever really wanted was someone to come back to me so I'm so glad you're here and so I had with me a purse that was like worth ten thousand dollars and everything was like all the same except so then he was like well I don't really make any money so we're gonna have to get rid of your car so that um, you can have like a Toyota or something that has a really low car payment and, you know we'll just have to start getting rid of all of this stuff and I'm thinking to myself to get rid of all this stuff because I can afford all of this stuff and it was the weirdest thing and he just was like gonna take over everything this person that out of nowhere and then I woke up good thing gosh I know I woke up and I'm but like, if you're stuck in that dream really forever next to you and I'm like <laughs> oh he's here oh who is this person? Clearly this guy does not know anything about me because we are not doing that. Not downsizing and getting rid of all this stuff. No, no. How often do you have to get tires every year? I'm gonna check and I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find the receipts and tell you. All right. You don't have to stay here. What? I'll wait. No way. If you just want to get to the grocery store, you want to go to the grocery store together. Yeah. You'd rather just sit and wait. I'm I'm full. We just ate. Me too. I'll think about it for a moment. And the moment's gone. Okay. Bye. It's not. All right. So Bill handed me the camera. He told me to come out here take a video of my car and say something cool so there's my car they're doing my tires and something cool I said it something cool. <laughs> just getting the front tires done they've got them off for that side anyway and they're putting it on let's see what this side looks like that one's coming off right now oh thank you Thank you. They even let me come in while they're working. My tires are awful, so I have to get new ones. My car is gonna ride so nice. It's coming out. Just finished up my car. They're backing it out. We're gonna head to the grocery store because we gotta get some oh, yeah, delicious treats for Disney. Oh, I have extra cheese. All right, I'll see you at Stater Brothers. All right. What's your name? Thank you. Brian. Brian? Nice, nice to meet you, Brian. Thank you guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night. I think you should comb your hair down like that all the time. Good plan. Get, this. <laughs> Get the ball. That is nice. This is Connie. This is the kind of haircut I do. And yes, yeah, so if you're interested in a nice, beautiful bowl cut <laughs> such as this, uh, we can give you her contact information. And so I fit in, I have a trip to Japan next week. <laughs> uh, but this guy, so today my mom brought me a silver spoon. That you were born within your mouth. <laughs> Bill says I was born within my mouth. It has my name engraved on it and my birthday. She's been keeping it for me and she just brought it to me today. Uh, October 13th. But I think the person with the silver spoon is this guy who has this lady come all the way to his house He's anytime he spoiled. wants to cut his hair. He's so spoiled. He is special. He has special needs. Uh, he has special <laughs> needs. <laughs> That is true. That's what they told me when I had to get on the short bus. That you were special? Uh -huh. Yeah, I am in agreement with that. Maybe he will get that special seating at Disneyland after all. Oh, 